Hello, ladies and gentlemen, beautiful viewers of the World Wide Web and all the above. Right now, we are going to just take a little drive through some of these plazas on Aramingo Avenue today. The case for the officer that was responsible for uh, taking out George Floyd was sentenced. And this whole week, they were preparing in this uh, strip right here, this little shopping strip. That Walmart on my left-hand side was hit very, very bad last time when it came to the looting. And in all these plazas right here, what I've noticed on the way up here is tons and tons of police. Plenty and plenty of law enforcement uh, established on each parking lot where there's a, a shopping um, center. So for example, right here on my left-hand side, look at all these police officers. Look, at, we're gonna drive through each little strip this being one of them, look, they actually got the Coast Guards or the National Guards right there. I don't know if it's the Army, if it's the National Guards, whatever it is. But I know that they basically, I'm gonna turn right and I'm gonna show you guys these guys uh, stationed right here, just so that you can see. This is on Aramingo and what's this, Butler, right? Yeah, Butler. Gonna make a left hand turn so that you guys can see what's going on here. They're out there with the firearm station. As you guys can see. Now I'm going to make a right hand turn and exit this Lowe's parking lot. And You'll notice a lot of these stores are boarded up. They've been boarding them up all week because they were uncertain on what the outcome was gonna be, whether he was sentenced, you know, whether he was found guilty or not guilty. To my knowledge, he was found guilty, but I think they only charged him with like second or third degree and they gave him a 10 year sentence. So I don't know how you guys feel about that. Look on my left hand side. They're boarding up the kids for locker right now as we speak. Now that's a little late because a lot of these businesses were boarded up as of three or four or five days ago. Watch when we drive down this strip right here. This is Aramingo Avenue. There's a lot of shopping uh, stores on both sides of Aramingo Avenue. Look on my left-hand side. There's a police officer stationed inside Advanced Auto Parts on my left-hand side. Look, there's a police officer. There's a paddy wagon. On my right-hand side, you'll see the public storage is boarded up. See on my right-hand side? They boarded it up. And as we drive more down, I'm gonna cut through certain parking lots. Like normally when I do these tours, I don't focus on the businesses. Like there's a police officer on my left hand side. This avenue right here was hit heavy, heavy, heavy last time. I mean, stores were ran in and out of. Boston Market didn't board up. The gas station on my left didn't board up. Look at my left hand side. Let's make this left hand turn. And we're gonna go into this. We're gonna try to get in here quickly before traffic comes. Look at the Santander Bank. Obviously, it's a bank, right? And <laughs> what does a bank have? Money. The bank is boarded up. And even the ATM is boarded up. I was actually gonna try to use this ATM and look it. They boarded it up. There used to be a wine and spirits right here on my left hand side, but it's no longer there. We got a Taco Bell on my right. Look, on my left-hand side, there's a cleaners boarded up, Aramingo cleaners. They actually had an agent out there. I didn't even notice. There was an agent right out there, guys. I'm going to turn left, and we're going to exit this lot. And we're just going to go through each of these lots right here and see how many stores are prepared for whatever's to come. Because guess what? It's still not nighttime yet. You know what I mean? So we don't know. I hope not. I hope nobody does anything over-exaggerated and comes out at nighttime. I'm gonna let this motorcycle go by. What's that, a Hayabusa? Nah, looks like a smaller bike. You got the ride in on my right hand side. Is the ride aid boarded? Let me, let me take a look at that. I have a, a video on my page when the looting went down last year. There was actually a military tank right here, I, I believe, like a SWAT tank. 
right here on my right hand side. This whole strip was like off limits because they looted it so hard. And it wasn't even people from the neighborhood. They were coming from everywhere, from West Philly, from Southwest, probably South Philly. There was a couple people from North Philly. Those people coming from the other side of the city and they were basically hitting every shopping strip. That's when they were blowing up the, the ATMs. You remember, they were blowing up the ATMs and all that stuff. I remember on the news, they was running into the Foot Locker. They were running into like regular places too, like variety stores, Walmart. Walmart got hit heavy. They were running out with Pampers, with, with um, hampers, with home goods. Let's go to this, we're crossing Aramingo. We're gonna go inside this little plaza right here. See what's boarded up. Aramingo Pharmacy. That's not boarded up, surprisingly. They did loot a couple pharmacies and they took a lot of the, the pain meds and all of that stuff. I guess they were probably gonna sell it on the street. These are all on my left, they do not look boarded. I guess they don't have no worries. Akuna Matata. This is Wilson's, Wilson's uh, supermarket, meat market. They call it the wholesale food outlet, but yeah, it's, it's a supermarket pretty much. next to the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree doesn't look boarded. Tower doesn't look boarded. Snipes doesn't look boarded. Okay, the one on the end is actually boarded. T-Mobile. <laughs> T-Mobile figure people are going to want phones. Right here on my left-hand side, you see T-Mobile? T-Mobile's boarded and they're ready. Yeah, because, you know, they can take the phone. And even though if you steal a brand new phone, it's brand new, but they can, like, brick it. They can lock it. But they might be able to still sell it on the black market or sell it to unknowing buyers on the street and scheme them, make money. Like, look at I got this new iPhone 12 for 100 bucks. It's a brick to them, but to somebody on the street, they're like, wow, an iPhone 12 brand new in the box? We'll take our chances. And you can still sell them on, on eBay. Look, there's two police officers here. I'm going to let them cross the street. There's two officers. You guys are crossing in the middle of the street. Y'all jaywalking. <laughs> Right here on my left-hand side, I saw those two officers crossing, and then over here on my left, there's another cop station right in the parking lot with the lights on. So they are prepared. They're prepared for what could potentially happen. All right, so let's keep on driving down Aramingo. On my right-hand side, I see Vision Works is boarded up glasses. Uh, I don't really foresee people stealing glasses, but then again, they do have expensive glasses. Let me see if I get in this right lane so we can go see Vision Works. It's true, in some stores, they, they do have expensive glasses. And then I add that, glasses is something that is universal. And you can sell to anybody. So if they use glasses, I foresee people buying, you know, they got those those name brand, those expensive glasses. I don't know what type of name brand glasses Vision Works got. I don't know if they got like Gucci's and, and Versace's, but you know, I know at one point I heard something about them having the Michael Kors, which I don't even know how popular Michael Kors is. I don't know if they got Levi's or I don't know what type of glasses. I don't really wear glasses. Eventually, I'm going to need to go to get some glasses soon. After my cataract surgery, the doctor recommended to get 100% perfection to get a set of glasses. But look at Vision Works on my right. I'm boarded. And this is all fresh plywood. I saw on a news segment via YouTube that the plywood business is booming, even though there is a shortage of plywood. So that goes to show you. Because think about it all across America, or at least all across the metropolitan cities, businesses are gonna be investing in plywood. Look at right here, the Citizens Bank is boarded. And you know what's funny, the other day I was at the bank, I was at the ATM, at a bank though, I wasn't at a regular ATM, you see how it's boarded? And the window sills, it's like the metal trim that covers the window sills. Look at this dude shining his Ultima. <laughs> Um, the, it looks like Foreman Mills doesn't care. Foreman Mills has no shame uh, unless they're going to board it up tonight, but they're not boarded. Across the street, I see po police. Yeah, let's go inside that parking lot so y'all can see those police. They're stationed right across the street on my right-hand side. I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah, so... I was at the ATM and I noticed the window sills. They had a bunch of holes from last year from when they did the looting. And in my head, I was just thinking like, wow, look how tacky that looks to have a bunch of nail holes inside your finished metal window sills. And I think it was aluminum or whatever, but you know, they're painted brown to match their business. 
and they got a bunch of holes going all the way around the window sills from the nails. And I'm in my head thinking like, damn, that sucks. Like as a business owner, you know, you're not gonna go pay to have all new window sills in installed, you know, be because that's a lot of money. Like that's that's not cheap. Look at Popeyes is buzzing. Popeyes doesn't have any boarded up windows either. Look at look on my left. They buzzing. Panda Express doesn't have anything board, boarded up. I've never eaten at Panda Express, but to my knowledge, it's like a like a Chinese fast food restaurant, I, I guess. Look at these officers right here on my left-hand side. I'm gonna cruise through here. See these officers? They're there just talking. A lot of them look like they're young. Like maybe they might be new, new to the force. I'm gonna go left. left and I'm going to exit. There's another officer right here coming in a paddy wagon. I'm going to let them come in in case they want to come in so y'all can see them. See? So this is, I guess, them being proactive instead of being reactive because, you know, proactive is you're thinking ahead of time. You're trying to catch the problem before it happens. Reactive is you're just reacting to when the problem happens. This little uh, plaza right here was hit heavy. This one right here where the beer and soda was at. And I don't even think they was hitting the beer and soda spot, but look at this boarded up. See how it got open? It says open the spray paint. But what they was doing was they was hitting the foot locker next to it. Some of the places they was hitting up to me was, was, was quite like stupid, like sneakers, like, you know? In the end, it's, it's dumb to even loop period, especially for the call, for their excuse. Look on my left, Foot Locker's board. That one right there got hit heavy. On the news, there was people still running in and out while the new segment was rolling. AutoZone, they boarded it up, even though that's not the location anymore. They actually moved it right up the block to where the Kmart was at, but I guess they figure people are probably gonna try to break into it still. Pizza Hut is boarded. Aaron's Furniture is boarded. We're gonna go across the street. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of cops right across the street on um, bicycles. A whole bike squad. There's like 20 cops, y'all. So we're definitely going to go across the street. All right, this is all sealed up. So we're going to have to make a U-turn here because we're not going to get anywhere. Or can we? Can we cut through here? Let's see. Oh, yeah, we could definitely cut through here. Good stuff. This is where... This used to be a Toys R Us back in the day. This Burlington used to be a Toys R Us when I was a youngster. If you look right here, there's a bunch of cops. I don't know if the sun, the sun is really, see right there on my left hand side, and there's dirt bikes wheeling right by them. There's a bunch of dirt bikes. Look at, look at this whole pack of dirt bikes. Wow, and they happen to wheelie down a strip with a bunch of cops. It's a huge pack of bikes, guys. And little do they know, there's cops all up and down this avenue. Not that they care. I actually want to reverse. Yo, the cops are waving at them. <laughs> Let me reverse so that you guys can see the reaction. Yo, the cops are waving at them, yo. Look at all these bikes. Maybe they got together based on the verdict. Yo, the cops across the street are waving at them too. <laughs> The cops can't do nothing because they stationed. You understand? Oh, but there's a there's a cop behind them right here. I don't know if that cop's following the pack, but there's a cop right here. I'm gonna cross over to the other plaza. Yep, there's a cop right here. He might be following the pack. I won't be surprised if he's following the pack from afar. Yo, you had the cops just waving at him, and the thing is, is and and every one of these. All right, let's keep on going straight. Let's let's not go to those cops yet. Um, look at board it, board it. Board it up. Look at board it. Stat. Pearl Vision. Renner Center. One Main Financial. The Social Security Administration Office is not boarded. I guess they feel like they ain't have nothing to lose. Progress Physical Therapy. Not boarded. But Juniors Plus. Boarded. I guess all the retail stores, because the retail stores, you can sell the stuff that you steal from there, basically. Yo, that was priceless. That was probably a good 80 dirt bikes and four-wheelers and supermotos and motorcycles. Look at Ross, board it. 
but the pack is so large and these people are stationed like there's no sense in chasing them because you, you you guys aren't supposed to leave your post you know what i mean look they're actually boarding h and r block right now as we speak right now as we speak they're boarding h and r block right here on my left hand side they have plywood you see that and it's a female out there she's out there helping board it goes to show you we got a crab, the little wild crab spot is boarded on my left. Domino's Pizza right in front of us is boarded. But notice how even though they're boarded, they spray paint, we are open. You see? We are open. There's the the E nail salon. Boarded. Rainbow's still open. That's risky. And all around their window sills, they got the holes that I'm talking about. For so all these businesses, that's that's a shame. So you think about it. These businesses many years ago when they first hooked them up, they didn't think that was ever gonna happen. We got subway right here. Buddy coming out of Subway. Look at IHOP. It's open, but it's boarded. Now, look at all these cops right here, guys. These are some of the cops that are on bikes that was actually waving at the people on the dirt bikes. Look, look at all on my left. Those are all cops. Bicycle patrol. But you know that they wasn't going to catch up because they on bikes. <laughs> they was not going to catch up, yo. Let me do a U-turn so that y'all can see them one more time. I'm just going to bust a U-turn and I'm going to bust another U-turn. They probably not going to like this because they're going to think that I'm plotting. But we're doing it for the tube. Going to make this right. Just so you guys can get a scale of this little group right here that's on bikes. Right here. You see them? And look, we got these kids over here on pedal bikes. William. <laughs> We got some little kids on pedal bikes wheeling. The cops are staring at them. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's go up in another block. Oh, we got, what's that, the Coast Guard? I think, what was it, the National Guard? I think the National Guard, not the Coast Guard. The National Guard was called out. They're, they're stationed all over here, too, so let's go take a look at them. I'm going to make this left-hand turn so we can get into that parking lot. So I can show you guys what they look like as far as quantity. I think they um, summoned 1,000 National Guards across the city. And with that being said, they probably spread them out strategically. They're not going to put them all in one spot. And these dudes got like rifles. They got, I don't know, they got AKs. They got high powered assault automatic. And you know, they, what, 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 I don't know. I'm not in the military service. So. What, excuse me, I got a hiccup. What do they get equipped with? Do they get equipped with like AKs? AK-47s? Do they get equipped with M16? I don't know what, what they get equipped with. Nor am I a gun expertise. But I'm going to turn over here on my left. They're all stationed. But that sun is tripping. That sun is messing up our shot. So I'm going to go straight and then I'm going to go left so that you guys can actually see. So these guys probably come from from other uh, states, you know, from Alabama, from Texas, from Missouri, from Cincinnati. They probably come from all over, right? To come to Philadelphia, and now they're seeing dirt bikes and all that Willie buy like they're in <laughs> they're in the hood. Look at these stores aren't boarded. The pretzel factory is boarded. Metro is, is is boarded. Makes sense because technically, Metro you can steal the phones and again and sell them. Even for parts, you you can put them on the World Wide Web. Look at cops on my left. Look, this dude's just casually walking by with what? Some some coffee? Well, he got like a cup of coffee, right? I think he got a cup of coffee. Oh, the cops had um pretzels. <laughs> Somebody got them pretzels. Yep, guys. So, I don't know what's going to happen today. I don't know what the situation is going to be. 10 years. I mean, it's not a lot for taking a life. But it's something is better than than not finding him or finding him not guilty. You know what I mean? I guess it's it's better than than that. Um, is the family gonna be pleased? I am unsure, guys. I'm gonna try to wean in the traffic here. I'm gonna get in the middle lane because this is dangerous. Yeah, I am unsure. There's a lot of bikes heading. Uh, we're facing northbound. There's a lot. Of, no, we're facing southbound. There's a lot of bikes heading northbound, which is behind me. Wonder if they're gonna do a ride out. They're probably gonna do some type of ride out. Knowing the bike life culture, you know, how they support like causes or whatnot. 
they're, they're probably taking it. And then it's a 70 degree day today. It was a pretty warm day. So I won't be surprised if, you know what I mean? They're like, hey guys, let's all go out and go ride. But yeah, that was, that was crazy guys. So I just wanted to show you guys that little clip. Look, there's even a cop station all over here. I'm sure that they got this locked down throughout the city. All the main shopping centers, it probably looks just like that. A couple cops, a couple coast guards, just to, you know, scare people off, you know? The smart ones there at least, because the dumb ones are still gonna, gonna go try to go for it. But yeah, guys, so that's that's crazy, yo. That's, that's what it look like right now in Philly. Today is 420, right? Wow, the case ended on 420. What are the odds? Go figure, huh? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that is going to be it with today's short drive through. You know, I didn't want to do, you know, I, I didn't want to do too too much when it, when it came to covering that case, but, you know, it is a relevant topic. It is, you know, breaking news. It is something that's happening on a countrywide basis. You know, I'm sure different cities are reacting to it differently. But let me know your thoughts, comment in the comment section. You know, if you have any memories, stories, information in this neighborhood and or pertaining to the subject matter, feel free to comment below. That's why I leave the comment section open. With that being said, please hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you can get notified whenever a new video is released on this channel. This is Tune. My name is Tune Dollars, Mr. Tune215, and I'm tuning out.